So my name is Frederick Palm. I'm the CEO of Inify Laboratories. I'm also one of the founders and been with the company since the start. And prior to that, I was also the CEO of Context Vision, the company that we originate from. 2016, we started to develop algorithms for decision support within pathology within the previous company. Uh, and we actually developed one of the world's most powerful decision support tools for diagnosing prostate cancer. But after investing heavily into that, we, uh, so to say, found out that it was, it required more to become successful in that. And that's when the idea about the Inify was started to actually bring this from technology to a complete lab concept. So that's where it started. What the team said that we need a very reliable and robust scanner because we will run high volume samples in here. And I think that's where, where the, the Aperio machine or the Leica machine uh, made a good job. And so far, uh, I've only heard uh, positive things about it. Uh, so when it comes to the scanner, uh, we had about eight, nine parameters that we looked at. Uh, so um, of course, it's, it was the image quality, the focus quality, and how well the AI performed on the images. Uh, but also, it's really important for the efficiency to be able to have the same rack from the staining machine into the scanner uh, and also the user friendliness that is easy uh, to, to work with um, and to have as slow maintenance as possible. Planning the lab, uh, we went through uh, all the different vendors and uh, producers of scanners uh, and the Aperio uh, Leica scanner it's a robust scanner, easy to use, uh, and uh, it uh, supports a, a lean workflow, which is important for us. If you want to develop uh, high-performing um, algorithms for, di for diagnostics, it's extremely important to have full control over your data, uh, and image quality is naturally essential for that. For us, it's very important that the, the images have um, an even quality. That the, all the, the images we our pathologist looks at should look the same every day, every time. We really wanted to investigate that when we got the scanners, and we were we were also very concerned that there would be a difference between we have two scanners, so we didn't want it to be a difference between the two scanners. We work with um, control glasses, and we scan them repeatedly on both scanners, and then we analyze all the colors, the variations we see. And uh, so far, we see no variation. No. Well, I can say that the, the variation from the scanners and also from the monitors that we use when we, we, we analyze the, uh, the, the results are very, very small. The variation we see in image quality comes from either from sectioning, because sectioning is still a manual thing. We have to, it's, it's really difficult to control. We are really working on it. And uh, the, the second is the handling of the, the uh, tissue in the clinic when it's the, the samples are taken. The GT450 works brilliantly. It, uh, it doesn't have any problems. It always works, it just runs. And it's doing really beautiful pictures.